Kahalaw, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, and Kaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS and rule well, and peace and blessings to the old for lack. GMS Arkansas, GMS Stop and Listen. Uh, just coming with a short lesson. Uh, i seen this picture on the uh, chat, and one of the brothers commented uh, that it was a heavy picture. And I agree. When I look at it, I started looking at it, you know, this is like Yahweh Shai and his power of his right hand, the spirit, and then you see a Jake down there with chains symbolizing he's in captivity, okay? But what you see on the right side, you're seeing that Yahweh Shai is pulling those demons off of him, okay? This dude got many demons on him. And when you have that many demons on you, you are in a mental captivity, which a lot of our people are in, in the state of America. The mental captivity, having those demons plaguing them, okay? Like I was just telling the brother, here in Arkansas, we had a girl the, the other day, she was plagued with many demons. She was driving down the interstate and threw a two-year-old baby out the window. Okay, she was plagued with demons. Okay. This is this is heavy. So when I see this picture here, what I think about what's going on is Jehovah Shai is basically cleansing this dude of demons. And I think about the scriptures when I see this. A couple of scriptures come to my mind when I see this picture. One being Jeremiah 14.4. O Jerusalem, Negro, Latinos, and the Native Americans, wash thine heart from wickedness. And that's what you see that's happening. This dude's heart is being washed from wickedness, man. Thou that mayest be saved, how long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Okay. What you see is Demons, vain thoughts, captivity. You see wickedness. He said, how long will these be lodged within thee until you come back to the Heavenly Father? Okay? Until you come back to the Heavenly Father and basically be baptized. And not that baptism of dumping someone under the water, but the baptism that we're talking about is cleansing your soul. Okay? This is the baptism we're talking about, cleansing your soul, all right, which is uh, Ephesians 5. This one comes to my mind, too. When I see that picture, 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of the water by the word. And Yahweh Shai is known as the word as well. Okay, he's cleansing him from all those demons. And then that that man would, would furthermore cleanse himself by, by the word of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because if you don't adhere to it, uh, if you get cleansed and you don't adhere to the word, this comes to mind here. It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, which that's what you see, the unclean spirit, in that picture, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he says, I will return unto my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty swept and garnished then goeth he and taketh with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first even so shall it be also unto his wicked generation so when i see that that's that's another scripture i think about okay when this man is being cleansed okay the the uh, when you come into the truth, you appear to the word, these demons are going to flee. 
and you break away from the, those chains of bondage, that mental bondage, okay? That's what you see him breaking from. I, that's what I think when I see this picture. He's breaking from a mental bondage, okay? You know, coming back to your house shy and those demons being pushed out of him. You know, coming to the word, this this will make those demons flee. You know, this is what I think about when I when I see this picture, okay? You know, <clears throat> our people now a lot of them are not drinking that that water of truth. Okay. They're not filling themselves up with the water of truth. You know. And when you do, those demons got to go. Jake the day basically just comfortable in the stead that they in, man. They don't study, they don't read, they don't pray. You know, and when they when they don't do this, that's when those demons are gonna come. You know. You got to cleanse your spirit by this word. And that's what I see when I see this picture. That that Yahweh Shai is, is calling this man for a certain thing and, and he's cried out, he's in this bondage, but he's cried out. And Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has heard his prayer. And, he, and he's lifting up them demons off of him, man, so he can be cleansed. That's what I see when I see this picture, okay? You know, that's what I see when I see the picture. So it's showing in the scriptures. Uh, let's go. Let's go Colossians 3. Let's go Colossians 3. Colossians 3 and 1, if ye then be risen with a Mashiach, seek those things which are above, where Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Father, of his Father. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Okay, that's what I, well, that's what else I see when I see this picture. Set your affections, okay, set your affections, your your understandings on things above. Which a spiritual man will do, the things of the heavens. Okay? Not on things on the earth, because these things on the earth are basically uh temporal. Alright? Verse three. <clears throat> Colossians. Three and three. It says, For ye are dead, and your life is hid with a Mashiach in Yahweh, okay? So you dead to the world once you're you're raised up. Okay? You still gonna catch hell, but you're raised up from being in that dead state. That's what I see when I see this picture. Okay? That's what I see when I see this picture, man. Someone being raised up in Yahweh Shai from this dead state of mind. Demons being lifted up, man. Being exercised, man. This is like a, a, a spiritual exorcism going on. That's what I see when I see this picture. Okay. Verse 4. When a Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Okay. So when you walk to this truth, you're being raised from the dead, basically. You being having like having a newness of life. That's what you see in this picture, dude, having that newness of life. Okay. Verse 5. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetous, which is idolatry. Right? Those members, that's what you see, those things, those different. Uh, fornication, unclean, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence. This is, that's what you see when you see those on the right side, those demons that are leaving that man's soul. That's that inordinate affection, concupiscence. That's all that. Even ordinance, fornication, all that is leaving that man's soul. That's what you see. You know, if those demons had a name, some of their names and their characteristics would be of those of, of these things that are spoken of right here in uh, Colossians. Okay, 
a newness, a basically newness of life, man. All right. Um, let's see. It says verse six. For which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, man. Okay. In which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. Okay, so these at wrath is going to come up on children of disobedience. Because everybody is not going to have that hand, that spirit of Yahweh Shah move that remove those those uh those evils from you, those demons from you, because he said two thirds are going to be what? Slate to die on this this side. So this is something that's going to be done to the men that were chosen from the foundations of the world. Okay, pursuing the Ephesians, the first chapter, three through five. Let's go to uh, verse eight. But now ye also put off all these all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communications out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Put off that old man. This is how you. This is how you go about cleansing yourself. Okay. This is how you go about cleansing yourself. All right, and have put on that new man, which is renewed in the knowledge, after the image of him that created him. So you're cleansed when you come basically into this truth. And when I see this picture, this is what I see. A man being cleansed of all that fornication, inordinate uh, affections, anger, wrath, malice. I see a man being cleansed and brought into the truth. This is what I see when I see this picture. Because the brother said this is a heavy picture. And yeah, it's real heavy. And that's what I see. A man being cleansed of that old man and a new man from the breakaway from the bondage of catching of slavery, basically mental slavery, and coming to that newness of life in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. With that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the whole elect. GMS Arkansas, to the next time I say Shalom.